I'm very excited about this movie. It's one of two Broadway productions that Ryan Murphy is bringing to Netflix this year with the hopes that they will be awards contenders, just as they were awards winners on Broadway. The other is Prom, which we, be, we should be getting a trailer for soon. A, a first look photo was just recently released. Uh, and then this is the other one, a play, The Boys in the Band, which won a Tony for Best Revival I believe last year, and it's the same cast that was part of the Broadway revival that Ryan Murphy is bringing to the screen with this movie. And what's particularly exciting here uh, with the boys in the band is the LGBT representation. This is an LGBT story, but this time the cast is made up of LG prominent LGBT actors. Now this has been a discussion, I'd say, for about maybe two to three, maybe two, maybe a little bit longer, but you know, not, it's been, a, it's a recently new development in Hollywood. This idea that LGBT actors should play LGBT roles because, you know, of course, for quite a long time, for like over a decade, starting with Tom Hanks, or even before that, uh, straight actors were winning Oscars and other accolades for playing LGBT characters. But I think, you know, it got to a point where people felt, why are other people telling these stories besides, instead of the people who actually live it? Now, it's a complex, it's a complex discussion because, of course, you don't want to, you don't want to create a situation where LGBT actors can't play straight characters. So why is one a two-way street and one isn't? But I think, I'm very much in the camp that LGBT actors should tell these stories. I feel very strongly about it, but it's still developing. For instance, Jungle Book that's coming up has a prominent gay character, and it's played by a straight comedian. So I'm very curious how you feel about it. This is, an, to me, an exciting cast, a wonderful cast, headed up by Jim Parsons, who just teamed up with Ryan Murphy on Hollywood, for which he's Emmy nominated. I thought he played a very complex role there that I had some problems with, with how easily his character was forgiven at the end of the movie. But I thought Jim Parsons did an excellent job with his performance, and I'm excited to see him here. I love everybody in this cast. So let's, let's take a look. I think this is going to be great. All right, here we go. Oh, and you, Donald, you think it's just nifty how I've always flitted from Beverly Hills to Rome to Amsterdam? I'm here to tell you, the only place that I've ever been happy was on the goddamn plane. Run, charge, run, buy, borrow, make, spend, run, squander, run, beg, run, 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 waste, waste, waste. And why? Coming. Same old tired fairies you've seen around since day one. This is gonna be fun. It's a good thing. <laughs> this old college friend of mine is in town, but he's straight, so. Do you really think he doesn't know about you? Emery, no. I couldn't care less what people do as long as they don't do it in public. No, it's the Ooh. delivery boy from the bakery. Ask him if he's got any hot cross buns. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell could Harold be? You can Happy birthday. You're late. Oh, Michael, this looks you're so much late. fun. When he's sober, he's dangerous. When he drinks, he's lethal. That's your surprise. Hey, everybody. Game time. We all have to call the one person we truly believe we have loved. My God, Michael, you're a charming host. Who makes the first call? Oh, you have to actually call them? If you make the call, you get one point. I'm not playing. Who'd you call, Hank? Would you call me? If the person answers, you get two more points. I just wanted to tell him that... To tell him that I... I love him. If you tell them that you love them, you get a bonus. Who are you going to call, Alan? You ended the friendship because you couldn't face the truth about yourself. I'm sorry. I love you. Hank, why did you do that? Because I do love him, and I don't care who knows it. This I'm warning you. Good. Are you now? I'm the one person what you don't it? warn, Michael. Because you and I are a match. If we could just not hate ourselves so much. Oh, there's nothing quite as good as feeling sorry for yourself, is there? Mm, nothing. Mary, take me home. These queens are crazy. <laughs>
that looks excellent and very touching and moving. Oh, that looks like a very strong contender. It reminds me a little bit cinematically of Fosse Verdon, which was so good on FX. If you didn't watch that, you missed out. That won a ton of Emmys. This to me seems a little more like a television movie or a miniseries than it does an actual film. But because it's an actual film, it needs to compete for Golden Globes and Oscars. And I think cinematically, I don't quite see it, but I think story-wise and performance-wise, it looks like it could maybe be a contender, but we actually have to see the movie. Uh, it looks very strong. Did anyone see it on Broadway? I didn't get a chance to see it on Broadway, but I saw, uh, at the time, I saw Lobby Hero, um, the Kenneth Lonergan play, uh, which, with, with an, an incredible cast. And Matt Bomer was in the audience because he was doing this play at the time. And so he was, he, he was in town obviously working and he wanted to check out um, Lobby Hero. So uh, that, was, that was really fun to see him. I, that was a great performance. Sterling, uh, Sterling uh, K. Brown was there and I got my picture with him. It was, it was awesome. Uh, so I love this cast. I think it helps that we have such a strong connection to all of these actors already through their other uh, work. And by the way, I really applaud Jim Parsons, you know, he was um, not closeted while he was on Big Bang Theory, not by any means, but it really wasn't a part of himself that he highlighted publicly so much. But now that the show is over, I think he's really making up for lost time to do a lot of good for the community. I don't know if I call his role in Hollywood good, but he was playing a real person who really did those things and really did abuse, um, you know, people in the gay community like that. So, uh, you know, it, it actually happened. I just had, again, a problem with the end of the, of the... I had a problem with the way it was resolved in a fictional manner, which I didn't think was fair. But I thought Jim Parsons, again, did a wonderful job. So I think he could be, you know, he's already won Golden Globes for um, Big Bang Theory, but maybe he might win some on the movie side, too. We'll see. We'll see. It looks excellent. Also, he's turned, he always plays mean characters now a little bit, which I, I think is another interesting twist. Uh, all right, so what did you think? Share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And, of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now. 